Hi friends, we're here today and we're gonna add an outlet above this vanity I got here. And um, this is that apartment that I converted, or this is that building on Main Street that I converted to an apartment. And if we are gonna have a vanity setting right here, code says we need a GFCI that is usable um, within a certain space. We're gonna put it right above. I actually have a light switch here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a double gang box here and make that still where the light switch is and then add a receptacle next to it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. I know I say this every time, but electricity is dangerous. If you do not feel comfortable doing this, please hire someone. Um, the risk of electrical shock and can even kill you. This is something you definitely need to respect. And if you're not comfortable doing it, don't mess with it. All right, let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to make sure this circuit is dead if we're gonna work on it. So um, to find that right breaker, I know this light switch is the circuit I wanna kill. This light switch turns on this light right here. So I'm gonna flip breakers until that light goes off. I also have my fluke, my meter, or if you have any type of um, meter that you can check this with after just to verify, but pretty good indication when that light goes off, you found the right circuit. So I'm looking in here and I believe it's this one. All right. Light went off. I'm gonna take this cover off and I'm going to check for power. If it's dead, I'm good to work on this circuit. All right, guys, we're gonna pop this uh, cover off, pull the switch out, and then our next thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, try and get that box out of there. I know the power's off because the light's off, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it anyway. We are all good. I'm reading zero volts. Couldn't probably see that from back there, but um, I took these black wires off of the switch. Two of them were tied together um, because they jumped power to a, an outlet from here. And then I took the ground wire off and then the neutrals were tied together in the back of the box. What this tells me is power feeds to the light through this switch. If there would have been a white and a black wire hooked to the switch, just two wires, I would have known that they, they brought power into the light and then brought it to the switch from there. So now that I've got that done, we're gonna try and get these wires fished out of this box. We're going to, um, it's hard to see from right here. Let's see if I can, I don't know if you can see it from there. You can see how this box is nailed on to this stud, this board right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my oscillating tool and I'm gonna cut those nails loose so that this box will feed right out of here. This will be the new box we put in. You can see it's twice as big. There's room for that switch and an outlet right beside it. And you can see this has two screws here angled so that whenever we get this old box out and I cut this hole bigger, we can just slide that right into place and screw it into that stud. So what I might do right now to make it easier and give us more room to work is I might go ahead and hold this up here and uh, mark the area I need to cut out and cut that out um, so that I've got more room to work. Next thing you need to do is I'm going to actually hold this box up right there on top of the old one and um, you know I need to go get a level. Got my handy dandy level. We're going to try and get this box level um, before we cut it out. Let's see. Level that way. 
pretty level. We'll eyeball it. All right, just take a uh, marker. Mark the area you need cut out. There we go. So then I'm just going to take my uh, DeWalt oscillating tool here and I'm going to cut that area that I marked out. Um, you can see this black magic marker line. I'm just going to cut along that, cut that drywall out, and um, we'll go from there. I'm not sponsored by DeWalt, but it'd be cool. Someday I am. I just love DeWalt tools. I know that a lot of people will argue that there's a better brand. DeWalt's my favorite. It's what I always use. This oscillating tool is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to cut those little blue tabs off and then that box should pop right out of there. You can't really see it, but there's some on the bottom too. I'm going to cut those off and then hopefully I can just pop that right out of there around that nail and pull the nails out once I get the box out. You're going to have to unwire these whites so that each wire can come out individually of the back show you what I mean here. Okay, you see how there is two individual wires up top? I need each of those to come out their hole. I can't do it when their wires are tied together here in the box. And there's one on bottom too. These grounds are also gonna have to be um, separated. All right, operation style. I got all those whipped out of that box. Um, now I've got this big hole for my new box to go into, and I've got my three wires. And that's all I'm really gonna need because um, I'm just gonna connect um, my outlet to one of these power to the power wire which I need to find out which one's the power wire so here pretty soon I'm going to turn this breaker back on and I'll, when I do that and I wouldn't recommend doing this on your own I would have you know had to do over again you should have marked them whenever um, you took them out but I'm going to separate the wires turn power on and mark which one's the power wire and that's the one that I need to feed my outlet off of you're now going to route these wires through the holes in the top of this box so this part's a little tricky. Um, I figured out this one on the left is my power wire. So I just need to make sure I remember where that one um, goes and is. And then I'll need to figure out which one's my light switch. Um, which should be pretty easy because I got attic access up here. So I can just jiggle these wires once I get another person in here, figure out which one goes to the light and that'll be my light switch. Once you get all your wires fished through, we're gonna make sure that we got this thing flush with the drywall all the way around. And then there's two screws. You see that top black one, and then that bottom black one there. You're gonna screw those into the stud that's right here beside this box. Let me walk you through what we got here. So the switch is the same as before. We have a hot power wire coming into it. We have a black wire coming out of it that goes to the uh, light itself. We've got the ground wire connected to the bottom and the neutral and the ground both have to be tied back to the um, neutral and ground from the power source. So as you can see, our neutrals are all tied together again, but we had to add one. We added one a neutral um, we just took a little piece of white wire 
called a pigtail. And we added it um, to those neutrals that were tied together and ran one over to the neutral side of this GFCI. And then we also, um, we decided to go ahead and run our black power wire. This power wire, this black one comes straight from the panel. We hooked it up to our GFCI and then off of that, we um, pigtailed a wire into this group of blacks. And that now feeds the other outlet that we had on this circuit and it feeds power to the light switch. Um, and we tied all of our grounds together. It was kind of a little bit of a mess on the grounds because they'd already clipped that and bonded them together. So we had to make do, we had to retwist them and we had to add a pigtail off to come to this light switch. So now that we've got all the wiring done on this thing, we're gonna go ahead and gently and neatly tuck that back in the box and um, attach our switch and our GFCI to the box. All right, guys, we got it wired in um, and I've got it back together. You see maybe we have a little drywall touch up work we're gonna have to do um, behind that cover. But other than that, um, we now have a functional, here's my vanity and we've got a functional outlet right above and we've still got the switch. If you found value in this guys, please like and subscribe to my page and uh, maybe drop me some recommendations in the comments on what videos you wanna see next. All right, thanks and until next time.